your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's empiricism. What up? Um, on here real fast, just to give, a, I guess, a public service announcement. Um, in the area of mental health, mental wellness, there's a lot of stuff going on now that I know people are experiencing uh, different emotions and just uh, just different nuances of the, the whole human experience as a result of the augmented reality that we uh, all live in. Um, so, uh, so I don't go on a tangent talking about different things as far as metaphysics and other stuff. We'll just stick with the idea of uh, basic uh, mental health, mental wellness, and what we are experiencing here as a collective, as a society um, within the realm of consumerism and commercialization. I know it can be stressful. Um, in the meantime, as a result of the stress, uh, you get um, within these relationships, things that are unwanted, things that are adverse to our overall well-being. Um, in these relationships, they could be close, so they could be far away. Um, just the interaction and the dealings, you know, can be uh, tricky, can be challenging. So, when you know as a person, as, as a character, as a soul, when you know that you have done nothing to someone, you know, um, for some reason, people, they, they, they might treat you a little different. They, they might, you know, not give you what you give them. If you give them regard, for some reason, you just don't get that back. There's no reciprocation there. Um, and for the life of you, you just cannot put it together. Why is this person or these people treating me like this? And you take it personal, obviously, depending on the kind of person you are. You know, you go to, you know, many different areas of the spectrum in, in your feelings. And because of that, you might want to talk to some people. You might want to discuss some things with uh, with others, maybe not within that realm of relationships, but, you know, someone that might have an objective opinion that could give you some real good information. Um, and there might be no one around. So you feel you feel stuck. You feel stressed out. And all this stuff can be definitely detrimental to your overall health. Um, let alone just your mental health. So, um, you know, they have these remote therapists and things like that. You can you can reference or, or, or call or have a video appointment with. Very impersonal, um, very like the swipe right, scroll left type of uh, dating scenarios we got going on. It's just a mess. You know, they want to they want to make everything within the realm of digitalization, and you cannot take the human condition and put it into a, um, a digital format and expect everything to function properly. The society itself function properly and it won't so uh with my my point you know is sometimes people just treat you terrible they treat you like uh non-conducive to how you would you know assume humanity should treat each other um and you know you in your character your overall soul and your heart you understand you have done nothing to these people if you can actually admit this but yet they still treat you like whatever purge that Get that behind you, because when you try to beat yourself up, trying to figure out someone else's mind, you know, that's an attempt in lunacy. Um, that's also the definition of, of crazy and irrational thinking, uh, which you un have to understand this information right here will free you. Know that it's not something that you did to whoever is treating you like this. It's most of the time always something that you did not do or are not doing or can't do for these people or that person, you know, in their own narcissistic, you know, <laughs> virtual space up here in their own mind, you know, whatever it is that you're not contributing to their world, you know, um, this allows them from giving you the regard and respect that you think that you should have as a person. So never take that personal. It's always something that you're not doing or you can't do or you won't do or whatever the case may be. So with that, that means you have built character there. That means you, you're not, you know, you don't conform to someone else's, uh, you know, wishes. You don't bend to their will. You try to appease them and be an ass kisser. And that's the part that they don't like. There's something about you that you're not offering them. So they treat you like whatever and hope that, you know, you take it personal and then lose your mind over their mental illness. So I'm gonna wrap that up with that. Um, I have, uh, there's a lot more um, I can actually, uh, give reference to and maybe some advice or, or other points that you can kind of muddle around yourself and your own intellect to try to come up with your own remedies for, you know, this hodgepodge of nonsense and irrational behavior that we all experience every day as a result of how we're being ushered as, as humans. And uh, once again, um, 
yes, just be safe. Uh, protect your mind, protect your body, protect your soul, and protect each other.